Hey, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Good to see you here again. And yes, I've got a project for you this week. Things have slowed down with the other things that have been going on in my life. We got a project for you today. So the project I've got for you today is a cyberpunk room, complete with neon lights. We've got lights in the ceiling and some other features that I thought was pretty cool when I did this. So why don't we go to the video and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, my beautiful friends, let's get into the project. So let's start things off. I built the structure out of foam core board I got from the dollar store. This stuff is uh, pretty cheap. You know, it's, it's gone up lately, but uh, it's still fairly cheap to work with. You know, I, I'm probably not gonna do everything with this foam core board. You know, like I said, I'm gonna start using cardboard and some other recycled materials just because it's a, it's a much better way to go. So anyway, just did some uh, cutting and some measuring because I wanted to make a very large window. And this window is going to be the window that you look out of and you see the city skyline. All the neon lights, all the wild looking things that are going on. So then I just taped up the walls. I'm getting smarter. <laughs> you know, I'd, I'd, normally I would glue this up, you know, in, in an effort to get things done and everything would be cramped. So I just taped these on so I can make some measurements, so I can uh, put things together a little bit and uh, see how it works without having it too cramped and having an annoyance with those walls being glued together. So here's the bed. Uh, start off with a bed frame, a very sleek, low profile bed frame. Uh, a bunch of the pictures that I saw on the internet, uh, this was kind of a theme, so I went with that. And then this is a block of styrofoam that I will shave down and I will make it look more like a mattress. So I moved on for now. And this is an old CD case I had laying around. So I cut that up and I wanted to make kind of like a TV entertainment information station, I guess you could say, all in one. And this is going to be on the wall. This is going to go on the wall and it'll be uh, very visible from the bed. So after I cut up that CD case, I cut up some balsa wood and this is low profile balsa wood. This is very thin stuff. It just has a little bit of an edge when compared to that CD case. So I cut those uh, pieces of balsa wood up, glued them together with some crazy glue. And then I put some black paint. I painted it up black and it really turned out pretty cool. Put the, the plastic CD case inside it and when it was done it was it was quite quite cool looking so as you'll see here coming up in a bit the uh the finished product for that so i just went about now to painting up the walls the bed and the floor and i i kind of am going back and forth with a bunch of different things here just because of the time pressures and things having to dry so I started working on other things so you know this will this will kind of jump back and forth a bit but that's okay because that's how we do it so there's a nice awesome purple color for the bed frame and then you need pillows for your bed so a little bit of XPS foam cut that up into uh, some squares and then started to shave it down to kind of make it look like pillows and they turned out pretty good uh, they weren't exactly the same, but that's okay. You know, they, they turned out better than I thought. And when they, once they're uh, all together with the fabric that I have there, they actually look pretty good. So I just did a little bit of paint so that the pink wouldn't show through the fabric because the fabric was fairly thin. So I basically did the same thing with the bed, with the mattress here. Um, just hot glued it, you know, I shaved that that piece of foam down to have it look a little bit more smooth like a mattress and then I just hot glued some linen that uh, my wife had laying around for her project so I grabbed some of that and I just glued it together to make it look like a sheet and it turned out pretty good I actually was quite impressed and basically did the exact same thing here with the pillows just hot glued this linen to them folded it up made it look a little bit rough uh, because you know this this bed has been has been used it's been slept in so and there we go there's a pillow it looks pretty good 
So I thought that the time was right to start putting these walls together. I had a lot of things already done and so I put it together. I put it only uh, two sides together because I was I was still a little bit paranoid. <laughs> but that's okay. So here's just uh, painting that black frame for that TV information center and then gluing that piece of plastic to the frame. So a little bit of crazy glue worked perfect and uh, yeah, it turned out pretty good. Hey everybody, if you're enjoying this video, please do me a favor. Hit the like and subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Let's go back to the video. So then I had a piece of plexiglass here and it was filthy. So I cleaned it up a bit, cut it to size and glued it in to that window opening. As you can see there, so you got the, you got the look of glass and it turned out pretty cool. So then all I did was I printed off a sheet, a picture of a cyberpunk city skyline and glued that on and it looked really cool. I, I, I will do something different the next time I do something like this and I'm going to illuminate the back of that just so it looks a little bit more real but it still looks actually really good to me. So I did the same thing with that TV center, that information center. I printed off uh, uh, kind of like a, a news picture and glued that to it and then glued it to the wall. And that turned out pretty cool looking. I wanted it kind of to be, a, you know, um, uh, something is going wrong on the news, you know, which, which kind of goes right with the whole cyberpunk theme. So then I just added, started adding a bunch of little things here and there. What I just put on the wall was uh, ventilation units. Um, there's some on the floor there. And then here I just made some simple computers with some code running in the background and glued that on right underneath the information center. And then adding a little bit of uh, Typing to the wall, you know, like there's really nothing, you know, wrong when you're doing this sort of project because anything basically goes. So I added some pipes there. And then this was a very tricky part. So I wanted to have a neon light bar across the headboard of the bed, but I also wanted it to frame the ceiling and frame the bed frame. So this neon string that I got from the dollar store as well uh, did not too bad. It was tricky trying to get it through all these holes. <laughs> as you can see there, it wasn't very, uh, <laughs> there wasn't a lot of finesse going on there. So, so then I decided to do the roof with um, a little bit of a copper mesh. And then I drilled a couple of holes in the top and used a couple of resin globes that I made for lights. And the lights that I'm gonna put on there, I'm gonna add LED lights and affix that to the top of those little resin globes. And that's gonna diffuse the light, but it's also gonna make it look really natural on the inside. So I used some tape, try to cover up all the seams. You know, I didn't want any light leaks because it would have looked a little bit odd. And then after that was all done, I just started putting a basically a frame around the whole thing so that I can cover all the wires, I can cover all uh, cover the uh, the controllers, the on-off switches, and basically I just cut up some old pizza boxes, some cardboard, and glued it around and framed it. And that was pretty much getting close to the end. And then I just painted everything black on the outside and it was done. So that's the video guys, I hope you enjoy it. We'll see you again next time.